Okay, so here's our front door. And this is what you see when you first walk in. Okay, so if you look directly to the right, this is our trash can and then we just keep a little bag for recycling. And then it opens up into our kitchen. So first I will start over here. This is our little fridge and pantry area. So for the freezer, we just have a little ice tray. This is what it looks like, pretty standard. And then our fridge, some shelves, drawers, nothing too crazy. Then on the refrigerator, we just have a little February events calendar and a roommate agreement, plus our little key. And of course we have some really cute magnets. So first, Lauren hung up these sweet little cat magnets. And then we also got a pack of much link magnets, which we have up here. Donald, Pluto, and the aliens. Then over here is what we kind of keep our food in. So me and Lauren have this side. This is what it looks like. It's very tall. And that is our roommate's side, so I won't go into that. Okay, so directly to the side of that is our roommate's room. She's in room B. And then if you keep turning around, this is an overview of the kitchen. So we have some drawers over here. We don't really have anything there. And our roommate has her little coffee maker, little teapot, a cute little Alice in a Wonderland towel that she brought as well. There's also a little drawer underneath the oven. The oven is pretty standard, as well as the microwave. She keeps some of her stuff there. And then I don't think we really have anything above the microwave. And then over here, we just have our plates and bowls and stuff. So Flamingo Crossings actually comes with eight just standard white plates, bowls, and then six little clear like plastic cups. We keep a few of our extra cups over here, which there's only one left right now, but typically there would be a few more. And then that is our roommates. And then she also brought this little set over here. So down here is me and Lauren's little area. We have our Nespresso with our cute little frother. And then here, Biscuit wanted to say hi. Here is this really cute Epcot ball cookie jar, which we just keep our Nespresso pods in. Finally, in our little area is just this cute little retro-ish looking toaster that Lauren brought. So that kind of completes our cute little area. And then just right over here, our roommate brought some tea stuff and some little canisters. And then we have this poster, which we hung up there because we just thought those colors looked really cute. It just looked really cute overall. So that is that side. Over here we have our dishwasher. Again, pretty standard. And then this little mat here for drying dishes. So this is the sink. Our sink actually backs up a bunch of water and stuff from the drain in it every time that the dishwasher runs. So there's always a lot of like little nasty crumbs in there. I promise we clean it like every day, every two days. But I'm not gonna show in there either way. And we just have soap, whatever. We do have a garbage disposal though. As for the bottom cabinets though down here, we just have like fire extinguisher, random kitchen stuff, trash bags, all that. Um, these are the utensils that Flamingo comes with, just classic silver ones. Our roommate brought some as well. And then it also comes with a few pots and pans. Then over here, Lauren and I just brought a little bit of our own stuff, some Tupperware, sandwich maker, popcorn bucket, random stuff like that. Okay, so moving on from the kitchen, if you look to your left, this is our washer and dryer. As 
you can see, it's currently going, but just don't mind that. Um, here's our thermostat, and then that's locked. We can't get into it. And then that brings us into our living room. So this is the couch that comes with Flamingo. It's just really nice, soft sectional. And it also comes with a nice little coffee table. Our roommate just brought a little bit of decor for this. And then a blanket and a little cactus pillow. Over here, it comes with this little side table. Lauren brought this really cute coffee table book and some Taylor Swift vinyl coasters, which I just think are adorable. And then we brought face tan and our roommate brought this card game here. We also just have a little extension cord plugged into that outlet there because there is no outlet over here. So definitely recommend bringing an extension cord. And then finally you turn around and we have our TV with our little TV stand here and then bar stools at the bar. Pretty standard for bar stools because four people and then we just brought this little phone stand that we sit here in case we ever want to watch something while we're eating or whatever. And before we leave the common area, I did just want to note there is a lot of natural light in here. We typically keep our windows closed just so everyone can't see us when we're hanging out in here, but there is a lot of natural light. It's really beautiful. Then we do have a ceiling fan for those of you curious. Okay, and now for the most exciting part. If you come over, that's the front door. So if you just take a left from the front door, this is room A. And this is our room, which we will now be exploring. Okay, so Lauren is currently in here. She's about to go to work, but we will still do the tour regardless. So this is what the bathroom looks like. This is my side. That's Lauren's side. You can tell we definitely have a difference in design style. But I think it's really adorable to see. You should tell them that I'm missing out with the door. So the annoying part about our sink door specifically is that this latch doesn't work. So like when I shut the door, it doesn't latch. And sometimes it'll stay shut like this. Sometimes it'll slide open. Either way, we called in a work order to get it fixed and it was like fixed for maybe 20 minutes and then it went right back to being broken again. So we have to lock our door if we want to keep it shut. But either way, over here, I just have a little wax warmer on my side and then soap. And then we have this tissue box dividing them. So that's about it for my side of the sink. Lauren's side, she has some random getting ready stuff, hair stuff. Okay. Hi, Biscuit. <laughs> what are you doing? Her soap, toothpaste, all that cute little perfumes over here. And then over there, she just has, or we have the heater plugged in because we keep it in the toilet room for whenever we take a shower. Um, there's not really much to say about the sinks. Really large counter space, I love it. And we each have our own medicine cabinets. Just have like my toothbrush, a little rag, deodorant, toothpaste, chapstick, all that fun stuff. And then Lauren has hers, it looks exactly the same. She just keeps random stuff in hers. And then over here behind us, this is the door we entered in through. We just have this over the door hook thing that we keep our lanyard IDs on. Lauren has a really cute munchling swan. I still have the plain old black one that they gave us. And then we also just have our keys hanging there. These are Lauren's keys. She has a cute little Kate Spade and then I have a little Michael Kors. Not much to see there. We just keep those there so we can grab them off as we're heading out. And then finally we have these cute little posters over here just behind the door in this little empty space. We got these out of a little poster calendar and we thought they looked really cute up together. So we had that there. It's really adorable, so now we can see it in the mirror when we're getting ready. Okay, and then moving past our bedroom door, on this side is the like toilet slash shower room. Not much to see in here. Toilet, trash can, litter box. We each have our own towel racks, bath mat. And then there's this cabinet space up here. We just keep towels, extra toilet paper, stuff like that. Finally is our shower over here. Again, not much to see. Lots of shelves. Just loop it there. 
not anything too interesting here. And then finally, the part you guys have all been waiting for, our bedroom. Here is a brief overview. Of course, we'll go much deeper into everything. So starting here directly to the left of our entrance door, this is our little whiteboard with our schedule on it, grocery list, and then all of our pins that we've been buying. As you can see, we've been doing the Munchling series, the Sweet Dream series, a few extra fun ones in there, and then our Disney programs. Then here, right beside the door, our pins that we've been collecting for years. So a lot of these are just ancient. Like this little set is the original one I got mm -hmm. way back, like over 10 years ago. And this is what mine was, the princess one, the Ariel and the Cinderella there. We both have one from our favorite rides from like 2016, Lauren has Everest. I have Tower of Terror. I found this one on the ground way back a million years ago. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool one. I accidentally stole this one from someone. And some really just- It was a grouchy guy, by the way, not like a little person. But yeah. He it. Some really fun ones, like my autograph book. Or this Tinkerbell or the Disneyland. Show us your Animal Kingdom one. Oh, right, right, right. And Lauren has a little postcard. Anyways, we like started pin collections back in like 2015, I want to say. And so these are just the pins that we have on there. Um, yeah, really cute. This is like a little pin area. Moving ahead, I will let Lauren have the ropes for giving the tour of her side. Yes, this is the best part. Okay, guys. So, of course, part of my contributions are Astrid and Baby slash Biscuit, depending on who you are. We've got this cute hat over here. My Choco Cat rug, this little cat bed, cat bag, shoes, my water bottle holder, Air's Tour tote bag, this, which maybe is a fire hazard, probably is. We've got over here some bracelets, some photos, black cherry Merlot, room spray my medicine. Hannah contributed these beautiful coasters. <laughs> Got some books. I have the second book in the series in my bag because I've been reading it. And this is, uh, oh, uh, Crescent City. Yeah, there we go. My posters are these. Then we've got all of my pictures. And then this I'm obsessed with. It feels like a Squishmallow. We've got a meal as a croissant. Here's another close up of all of these. Surrounded by Mickey. Then we've got this blanket that matches the pillow. We're both the Play in the Parks collection. They are indeed. And, uh, the closet, which you don't really have to see inside. Oh, there are my work shoes right there. Yeah, I think this is it. Would you like to demonstrate what's to the right of our door here? The most, ex the most exciting part of our room is that little cat toy with balls in it. It's the ear wall. The ear wall. Here, me and Lauren put together all of our ears. We've got shared, mine, hands, mine, hands, hands, mine, hands, hands, hands. We both have some of these. Hands, hands, mine, hands, our moms. Yes. We also have two pairs of Christmas ears, which Lauren is going to get to show y'all but they're just not hanging up because obviously, as you can see, it's a four by four, so we can't really add them until we get two more. But, honorable mention, they're very cute. So these ones here are mine. Oh, 
and turn them around so we can see the back. Ah, uh, how cute. And then these ones are Lauren's. The cutest thing I've ever seen, little wreath the ears. Is boring. Yeah. yeah, so those were hung up until we got a few extras recently to replace them. But either way, they'll be back once we start getting more ears, because I'm sure we will. Oh yeah. And like Lauren said, we both have this pair because we had them as matching. To the left of our ear wall, we have Lauren's dresser, which again, so, I can Lauren. come back. We've of course got this. As you can see, demonstrated. It's a main attraction here. We've got some Taylor Swift magnets because if you can't tell, this is magnetic. This is also like a little shoulder pal thing, but I have it just stuck to the edge here. Another DCP pin, another DCP pin. This, my roommate from college, Vanessa gave me. Shout out Vanessa. We've got this, which Kristen painted. Some flowers that Baby Biscuit keeps eating. Some of these. Unfortunately, I only have a painting of Astrid, so it's not because I hate her. Oh, I'll um, preface here that Lauren didn't buy this painting specifically for Astrid. It was gifted to her. Yes. So that's why she only has one. That is exactly why. And then we've just got some random things. My Hardbird Magic Band, Cinema Roll, some, you know. I don't need to say everything is. We felt bad. I feel bad for this guy because he doesn't know what it likes, so that's why I bought him. This right here, vintage 2007. But yeah. Da -da -da -da. And moving on down, we have this calendar here. And then down on the floor is just some cat stuff. And then, by the way, for anyone noticing there's dry food in there, I also feed them wet food. I'm not a bad cat parent. And so then we have my dresser here. You can see the difference between Hannah and my personality. Yes, as you guys also saw in the bathroom. One of us is a little bit more of a maximalist and one of us is a little bit more of a minimalist. But it's fun to see the difference in aesthetics here. So first I just have our air purifier here since we have cats and it's also just a really dusty apartment. It's come in handy. And then down here is just a little tray raised plate thingy that Lauren gave me. I have my Ariel Magic Band, which I happen to think is so adorable. I got this on our last Disney trip in November. And then beside that, we just have some extra munchlings, which I got as dupes, so just put them over here. And then some cute little lounge fly keychains. And then my ears that I got whenever I became an official Disney cast member. And then hanging here is just a little nod to my puppy. This is the bandana he was wearing before I left, so I stole it from him so I could have a piece of him here. So that's about it for mine. And then down here is just cat stuff. We put this ugly poster by the litter box, as well as this May May magnet, because we are turning red haters here. Sorry if you like that, but we do not. To the left here is the window. So beside the window, we have some original art pieces of Ariel and Rapunzel. They're very, very, very cute. Lauren got these back in what, like 2015? Yeah. Don't be fooled, these are not prints. These are hand sketched. And I used to be obsessed with them. Yeah. And I still kind of am. And then farther left here, we have our lounge flies. Just hung up on the wall. They're adorable. Bambi. This one is Flora Fauna and Meriwether. And then Baymax Emoji, of course adorable and then down here is just like a little cat area there's some water on the floor yeah. because the lounge flies fell we had a little spillage with the water which we're just gonna let dry um so don't judge us but yeah that's food water bowl and then that's their little fridge for their water and sometimes wet food and then this brings us into my side of the room again you can tell there's a lot less going on here than in lauren's 
Um, here we just have a little picture wall. We have my puppy, that's Andre, as a lot of you guys may remember from the Hannah sister versus boyfriend tag. Still going strong, what, like six years later, five, four years later, something like that. This is my college roommate. And then puppy, Nathan, family, boyfriend again. And I was like, I should have gone hometown friends. Just a lot of randomness here. And then cute little Remy. As you guys remember, Lauren has a meal on her side. I have Remy on my side. So they're kind of like besties through the wall there. Just like us. And then here's my bed. Me and Lauren have matching bed spreads, which is really cute. And then I should. And I also have posters up here like Lauren had. And then this is my side table. It's pretty empty. Up here, I just have my coasters. I have a chapstick. And this is a remote for the heater that I turn on at night. My Bible with a miniature bouquet of flowers that Andre got me. And then down here, this ugly pair of ears, but it's sentimental value. And then that is a little jewelry box in the center. And here are my three Disney themed books that I brought. Walt Disney Biography, and then the first and second Kingdom Keepers. I haven't even started, but we'll see. Maybe eventually I will. And then over here, as you can see, I just have my Kate Spade Minnie Mouse purse hung up. And then here is my closet. For those of you curious, I will show inside. So this is what the closets here at Flamingo look like. Not too big, but not too small. We have a shelf up top, which I just keep some bags and a toolbox on. Keep my clothes here, obviously. And laundry basket, shoes. And I have a few suitcases back in the corner there. It's a decent sized closet, especially since you probably won't be bringing too many clothes. So yeah, and then I'll show you guys a little middle view so you can see how symmetrical it is. You guys wouldn't know this, but these posters were perfectly curated to match our personalities. Mm -hmm. Lauren has some nice music with cats. Woodsy scene, Mulan. What a big Mulan gal. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were zooming in that much. <laughs> That's good. And then on my side, I called that Mulan one because I thought it was really pretty. And then I inherited that one because I thought that they matched good. And then that one, I'm obsessed with because of the bow. And that one I just kind of got because there were only so many options. Not that I don't think it's cute, but you know. Oh, and I'm a big macaron lover. Oh yeah, that's another factor. Martin loves macarons. But anywho, yes, I think. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Biscuit, what are you doing? Can I have my leg back? Oh, it's around you. Do a 0.5 pan of the whole room one more time, just for funsies. Twin size beds for the two by two. There's this nice little border in between. It comes with those side tables and the little lamp type things up there. Nice window. Each of our dressers has four drawers. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay guys, I apologize for this quality, but we also just want to give an honorable mention about how cute the lights look in the dark. So it's now nighttime. But doesn't it just look adorable? It looks so much cuter. Okay, bye guys. So we hope that you really enjoyed this tour. It took a long time to finally get everything like decorated to where it looks cute and stuff, but it finally happened. We feel like it's actually, it's perfect. Yes, we're literally obsessed with it, it's so cute. I'm gonna be sad to take all these down and move out. Literally in like three months. <laughs> yeah, what's today? Less than. Less than three months, all of this will go. But, but that's okay, it's, it's homey while we're here. But yeah, if any of you guys are moving into Flamingo soon and have any questions, feel free to ask. I have a tape measure so you can ask about dimensions if you want. 
anything else that you may have a question with, ask us and we will answer in the comments. But it's honestly really nice here and we've loved it so far. Sharing a room isn't as bad as you might think. Yeah, that's a good point. I thought it was gonna be really awful. And honestly, having that little divider there kind of does more than you'd expect it to because we kind of have our own spaces. And yeah, it's really not that bad. We hope that everyone loves it as much as we do. Okay. Hope you enjoyed.